what's going on homies welcome to my first black actually no this is my second black ops 2 video but today like i do with every call of duty game i give kind of like a review on it is there going to be doing some black ops 2 now this game was very nostalgic for me uh i didn't play it like super hard but i played it for like a like a, a few months span and i like freaking grinded it so like that's what i'm talking about with nostalgia and honestly if you look at my combat record oh my gosh it's 0.66 i played this game when it came out but I was so bad like usually I'll average like a one two three KD now but like I played so many games that when I was bad by the way face cut I played so many games while I was bad that it's a 0.66 KD and my most used weapon is the ballista and the MSMC is actually coming up on it I was a sniper in this game and honestly I wouldn't hate I don't hate sniping in this game I'm just not good and I don't remember being good and then you have your boy being a douchebag with the Remington so I am sick so if you hear anything like <laughs> All video I'm very sorry you know I'm, I'm still like in the middle of my sickness I'm just trying to get over it as soon as possible I literally have like no time to lay down and actually get like well like I've had things the last few nights I haven't been able to play any video games this is like the first game I've played in like five days and that's one reason why I pre-record my videos I know a little bit of Spanish so let's see if I can yeah, Smash game, Mr. Ford. Dude, I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm trying to snipe. What the hell am I doing? I have such a bad headache. I should not be recording this video. I should be laying down and resting and getting better for, you know, I don't know, nothing really. I have nothing to do. Oh, I even see you. That's a moment where I need to shoot some bodies. So Black Ops 2, I've had a lot of experience with. Uh, I think mostly, it mostly like when I played it in that span of a few months, I used uh, snipers only, but then. Ever since Black Ops 3 came out, I started branching out into more like red guns just because I know that we're going to be boots on ground. Got a lot of bouncing buddies. Because I know we're going to be going to boots on ground, and I hear you behind me. Ooh. That's called having good hearing. And that's called not having good aim. So like I said, since we're going to be going back on boots on ground, I'm like, I should probably start using red guns because I'm going to be doing some more comp for boots on ground. And honestly, with that aim, I should not be doing any comp. And what? Oh shoot! Oh. Oh. This aim's godlike. Aim's godlike. Oh my gosh, teammate, you're god. Oh, internet, you're not god. What? So this is honestly, I don't have ghosts because ghost is the main game that I should be practicing. But I did not buy ghosts because it's. I I, I didn't necessarily hate it. Like when I I literally rented it for one day in the first game online. I said fuck it. I'm I'm deleting this shit. So I've never I've literally played one game of Ghost and I've I've never played it since then. I haven't played a single match. I haven't touched the game at all. And you know, it's kinda sad because the Ghost I didn't think it's such a bad game now. Infinite Warfare, that's a bad game right there. Like I think that's a terrible game. And it has its reasons and it's just yeah, there's a lot of reasons why it's not the best game. Just like the little glitches and how literally you have to try your anus off. And honestly, that that's not their fault, but you literally have to try your anus off to do good in that game. How oh, holy shit, how hard is that to I can pull out a foul too. Don't don't fucking disrespect me, dude. I can pull out a foul too, bruh. I cannot use select fire on the foul. It's that's just my little uh confession. I cannot use it. I just it's just not my type of gun. Like I don't know, I can't use it. I feel like the recoil is just way too much for me. Even when I put grip on it, it's just I like, can't use it. And that guy's going that <coughs> And I'm gonna keep firing at that because I feel like he's gonna be somewhere in there. <coughs> this guy's fucked if he pushes. Oh no! One thing that is terrible about Black Ops 2 is the host migrations. Like, god damn it, they made me host. You're telling me I'm the best host out of everybody? You're telling me I'm the best host out of everybody? That's freaking despicable dude i'm actually not doing that bad being a host like i've noticed that they, I, i've been chosen as host m m uh, a lot more times this is nine bullets i'm not gonna i will push this though black ops 2 a lot of memories i remember just uh we would have like a thing called acidic nights and we'd make themes uh like acidic was the name of my clan and um this is not my kill i'm just gonna back the fuck off i baited my teammates so hard but it's whatever <laughs> I'll let my teammate bait again, or I'll bait my teammate out again. So we used to have like these nights where we'd say, okay, tonight is basically camping with Riot Shield and uh, 
shock charges and all the fun douchebag stuff that you can use. I remember on cargo that one clock that you can get into. Yeah, we just literally sat in there. We had six people. We had a six man and we just sat in there with riot shields and um, shock charges and fuck, I'm not pushing this bastard. Oh, dang. Nice kill, bro. I gotta give it to you. Oh, that's not what I saw on my screen. What? But on cargo, we'd, we'd send that, that one closet or whatever with the, um, with a riot shield. And we just, you know, stay there. Anybody that... Like me, I saw him right at the end. I want to hear this guy get... I want to hear this guy rage. I love when people get mad, dude. So, we literally would just sit in that closet with riot shields and trip mines, and every time they'd come back, we would, like, flip to our weapon and, tr like, shoot them with our Remington, and it was fucking badass as hell. Another thing you gotta love about Black Ops 2 are the hack lobbies. Like, these ones, I I've seen so many of these, too, recently. Just, like, they just came from nowhere. It's like... Your score, your score streak multiplier is ten times larger. Okay, I'm out of this game. Actually, no, I'll play this down. Oh, yeah, people with the fuck. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> For some reason, I've been seeing those types of lobbies ten times more than like XP lobbies. That's weird because I never seen one just like that before. So it's kind of weird. It's funny because, like, I, if you're a master prestige in this game. It's nothing really like that big. It doesn't set, show that you have like more, uh, more, my, I don't know what the word is. You have more power over someone that's not Master Prestige because a lot of people do have Master Prestige in this game. There's a, like a whole bunch of people that have Master Prestige. Not something that's not really that special anymore. Uh, it's, I don't know, a lot of people grinded it and this game was very popular, so I don't know. Hey guys, gotta get our paint gun. Pew, pew, pew. He's oh! Look at that aim. Never mind, I should be doing World War 2 GBs. Oh. What are you using? Target finder and okay. Okay then. I did not deserve that kill, dude. My aim was so off. Black Ops 2 is such an iconic game for me. It's just a game that I feel like it's one of the more perfect games in terms of gun balancing. Because I feel like there's... I mean, yeah, you have the M8. You have the MSMC. But like... the Subs have one, they have one gun, they have one or two guns, the ARs really have, I mean they have one gun, they have two guns, but they uh, banned the foul because, you know, Clay's a god. Oh, I don't have enough ammo, oh, I forgot, I have a PDW, blah, freaking wrecked, dude. Okay, I hate the amount of trash talkers on here, like, holy shit, literally, it's like at GameStop, you have to, like, sign a paper that says, do you have a high ego? It's like, yep, I'm gonna put my I signature down. Okay, boy. you're free to buy this game. He's gonna push. I told you. I just didn't think he's gonna push up here. He's gonna push again. Friendly no, he's not. He's actually not gonna push. Uh oh, I'm going for streaks, bro. Oh, what the fuck is that? What? Uh -huh. Ah! I can I can play patient. I don't know why, but I used to never be able to play patient. But now I can I can play as patient as I want. I don't know why. It's just like I don't know if I've grown more as a Call of Duty player, but I I'm not able to bait people. I'm usually not that aggressive, but but yeah, I got gunned there. Dude, that was a good gunfight right there. It's whatever. Hey, and guess what? Guess what this game has? But da da da. Toughness! Oh my gosh, I love toughness. I, I literally ride toughness's dick. Like, holy crap. I want that whole arm in my anus. Like, that would... That'd feel pretty squinky, in my opinion. Like, seriously, you literally have the Foul, the M27, the Scar AH, the M8, and the AM94 are your good ARs. And then, I mean, the Remington was OP, but, I mean, eh, it's be that's besides the fact. DSR and Ballista, this literally, this game was so good for sniping, because you had your, your trick shotting sniper and your more quick uh, scoping sniper. And you could do, you could do either one in either order, but still, like, this is a great game for it. You have the PDW, the MSMC, you have the Chinka. You have the Scorpion, which is another great gun, and then the Peacekeeper, I mean, only if you have DLC. See, the Peacekeeper is the first DLC weapon we ever had, but, but... Difference is, 
you pay $15, you for sure have the Peacekeeper. If you pay $15, you get the Peacekeeper with it. It's not like $15 and eh, maybe you'll get, maybe you'll get a weapon. Maybe you'll get it, maybe not. This is literally, you're going to get the Peacekeeper, which is a great thing that they did. So honestly, Black Ops 2, honestly, if I had to rate it, it would be probably a solid 8 out of 10. No, uh, no, that's a low, but I would say 9 out of 10, just because I feel like this game was so balanced when it came to weapons and they had nice perks and comp was fun on it. It added the B it, or the pioneer of the beautiful game mode we know is hard point. You know, I just love it. The score streaks are nice and balanced. Like you have to actually be good to get some of these score streaks. Like you have to go on a 17 kill streak to get a K9 unit. And I mean the swarm is a little bit fucking OP, but you know, 19 kill streak, you basically have to go on a 20 kill streak for that, which is that requires skill unless you camp, but that's besides the fact. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and that's all I got. See ya.